Governor Parkup explained that the reserve unit operates under a signed memorandum of understanding between the NCD Commission and Constabulary. He said until and when that MOU is cancelled through an official process between both parties, the unit will continue to enforce the Buai ban. The unit is still functioning and will still operate as normal as before until such time we get a formal notice from the Commission. Eh? That's how government conducts business and that's how I'm go going to conduct business in respect of this particular matter because we also have a uh, MOA, a Memorandum of Understanding with the Police Commissioner as to how to um, um, maintain the reserve unit and also it provides for how to disband it. It does not provide in that uh, MOA that somebody unilaterally make addition or it's announced on the media that the unit should be disbanded. Mr. Park have added the NCD reserve unit must not be blamed for the backlog of police brutality and assault cases and most recently the Hanoabada killings. There's one or two incident that probably gave a you know bad image to the reserve police, our NCDC police. But we should not lose sight of the great achievement that they've done in helping us to police the uh, boy band and also deal with petty crimes and we have been uh, having to police the bus stops as well. However, the police hierarchy today announced that the NCDC Police Reserve Unit will be disbanded next week through a police gazette. Many believe the decision was a result from the HB killings, but Governor Parker said an official report from the NCDC Reserve Unit at the time says they played no part in the incident. They were there specifically at the request of the village people to clear the road of vendors because there were too many of them, they were encroaching on the road. When the shooting happens uh, between 3 and 4, there's no reserve police of NCDC unit there. And I have a written statement from our reserve police that they never requested backup from regular police. In the meantime, a coronial inquest set by the government's chief secretary, Sir Manasupe Zurinor, is yet to establish the findings of the killings.